We are live and unmuted. Welcome everybody. Uh, Dr. Matt Nicklau, Chair of the Medical Lab Sciences uh, Department. This is our sixth uh, professional pinning ceremony. Uh, we are giving some time for people to log in um, as is, this is our first uh, Zoom uh, ceremony like this. Uh, it's a little better than my living room, I think, um, but we're just gonna be a little patient and see if we can uh, give people time to log in and get all set up. A um, couple little informational items. It looks like uh, we wanted to set up the Zoom itself, like the screen for you guys, a little more formally, but that might not be working all the way. So if you want to just see the speaker view or just me, you can always pin uh, that window by essentially, I think there should be like three dots in the upper right hand corner if you hover over the window and you can select pin and that will make it essentially the full screen. Um, Additionally, you could put it to speaker view, in which case it should automatically move to uh, a full screen display of the, the person speaking, which mostly should be me. Uh, so that should help you view. We also have uh, posted a video online onto our Facebook page, just a congratulation that we made for our students during this trying year. Um, definitely 2020 has been a little different for us, I think. So. Uh, please check that out. It's got some messages from the faculty and staff and uh, some student information for graduates as well. But how are we doing? We getting any more people logging in? There three. Okay, so we're getting we're getting there. Beautiful. So yeah, don't want to rush too much. Everybody kind of give them a little bit of seconds to log in and just kind of like we were in real world, people would be sitting down, you know, getting their parents wrangled from the, you know, cheese tray and all that kind of fun stuff. So making small talk is what we do in this situation. And um, definitely would like to thank the CATS team uh, for setting this up today. Uh, these guys are awesome professionals and uh, really have, I think, made this look a whole lot better uh, than my living room, for sure. Um, so I think, uh, again, thank you uh, for that help, especially on a relatively short notice. Um, but again, isn't that 2020, right? Everything's just kind of on the fly and it's got to be done 10 minutes ago and here we go. Um, so I'm going to look through. Uh, the ceremony should be relatively short and sweet today. Um, we'll have uh, a little bit of a presentation that we'll be playing on one of the screens. It's just kind of like a background and outlining some of the things we'll be talking about. Um, I'll give a little welcoming, tell you what a pinning is. We'll do a uh, award ceremony for the uh, student awards this semester. Um, again, this is the second time we've done this fall pinning. Usually we do it in the, uh, in the spring only, but a couple really awesome students petitioned us for a whole year to make sure that we you know, added this additional ceremony in the fall because we really were missing uh, a cohort of students who are graduating and we missed the opportunity to recognize them. And I think that is absolutely valid and a reason that we should have this. And so this is the second time we've done it. Um, I think it's really cool. And, you know, for us as faculty, it's really great to be able to see, uh, in this case, you know, virtually, uh, see you guys graduate and be able to recognize how fantastic of students you, you are. Um, and it's an exciting time for us. It's a great, it's usually a really great day. I still feel like it's a really great day. Um, I hope you guys uh, are really, whether you're at home or maybe if you came to campus for something and have left, maybe took some pictures, you know, I hope you really uh, appreciate this moment. And even though it's maybe not be exactly what we thought it was gonna be, um, you know, it's pretty, still pretty special, right? And, you know, we can just make do, that's what we do in 2020, right? We'll make it work. Um, so I think we'll probably start the formal stuff now. We got a, enough people logged in. So again, I'm Dr. Matt Nicolau. I'm the chair of the Medical Lab Sciences Department. Um, and welcome to our sixth professional uh, pinning ceremony. Uh, this is a, uh, a ceremony that we've been doing now for, again, not full six years, but you know, fall, spring to recognize our students. A pinning ceremony is, eh, excuse me. A pinning ceremony is an event marking a student's transition from their educational program to clinical practice and patient care. The symbolic ceremony is where new graduates are welcomed into the profession. The ceremony is presented by the Weber State University Department of Medical Laboratory Sciences to recognize the distinguished journey our graduates have before them. 
students will experience many changes as they uh, go through this transition uh, from professional role in healthcare. Throughout the transition, students embrace and, and nurture professional qualities such as integrity, respect, and compassion. To commemorate the commitment to these qualities, we honor the rite of passage for these graduates by hosting this pinning ceremony, where they are presented with their first symbol of professionalism, the WSU MLS pin. I have an example, well, I still have mine from, you know, the early 2000s uh, when I graduated and our, uh, our program pins look very similar, except they, we have a white one for our associate level and a black one for our bachelor's level. Um, and uh, they are kind of fun. We've also added a departmental honors pin that also looks like those too. Um, so keep them, you know, you'll never know when you'll need or want to wear them again. Um, and again, they've really do symbolize a lot of things. This pin is symbolic of our mutual commitment to promote standards of excellence, professionalism, and quality in the laboratory profession. The American Society of Clinical Laboratory Sciences pledge is recited to collectively affirm the commitment of professionalism and their new responsibilities to the healthcare community. It is customary that faculty members pin graduates welcoming them as their peers and colleagues. So usually, we would have a ceremony coming through um, and where we would bestow those pins to the, to the graduates for this uh, semester. Um, but in this scenario, we'll be reading off the names during that portion of, of the event of the ceremony. We will uh, be giving out student awards. Um, we will have a student speaker, uh, Jesus Rebolledo. Uh, boom, getting that only took however many years, right? Four or five years at this point. Um, so we'll have a student speaker and then we'll kind of go into the pinning ceremony itself. Uh, me and the faculty will be reciting the student names, kind of virtually bringing them up front and pinning them. And then we will all recite the pledge at the end um, and then, then we'll be done. So kind of a fun day. Again, I hope that you uh, are excited. This is what our award looks like. Um, we have a number of them this year. Again, one of the main reasons we started doing this was to be able to recognize some of these phenomenal students that were essentially graduating before our normal spring ceremony, which is perfectly okay. And you know, it's good that you graduate early if you want to. Um, and so this is what we've done to kind of bestow some of these awards. Um, we really like this acrylic design we started using recently. Um, and uh, you know, this is what we thought, I guess, Holy is what we learned how to pronounce uh, Holy Clark's name. Um, but you know, just an example of what some of these students will be getting. So this year, uh, we have our list here, but let me tell you first a little about this. So the Medical Laboratory Sciences Outstanding Student Award is presented to graduates who demonstrate an unwavering, exceptional academic achievement in the classroom and in the laboratory. Individuals who earn this award have shown they care about the success of their peers as much as their own, and outstanding students go above and beyond what is required. They exemplify the mission of the MLS department by meeting high standards of technical competency, collaboration, ethics, customer service, and professionalism. So really individuals that we feel kind of encapsulate everything uh, that we represent as not only a department, but as a profession. This year, our Associate of Applied Science um, for the online program is Liana R. Prater. A little round of applause for Liana. Um, some of you may not know, um, well, at least maybe uh, versus online or campus, we do have completely different programs uh, as part of our, uh, our department. We have a fully online program that is about 400 students that are spread all over uh, the country, um, and in some cases the world when they're in the military and might be uh, stationed you know, outside of this country, but we have a number, about 200 associate and 200 bachelors that are uh, going through that along with about 150 of campus students as well. So, you know, you guys are one of many uh, in your cohort and a big, you know, it's kind of like a big MLS family. And so uh, we like to try to recognize, especially those online students, because we don't, 
get to see them as often as we do our campus students who we you know really enjoy but you know these are one of those days where it's really nice when the online can come and we invite them to these pinnings and graduations on this day to actually meet them in person which is really a fun day so you know we don't get that today but hopefully you'll feel a little more connection to us than our normal kind of lectures and and things we have in our courses um, so that again, Associate of Applied Science was uh, Liana. And then our Bachelors of Science in our online program is Kristen Veenkamp. Um, so round of applause for Kristen. And then our campus uh, BS students, uh, we had a pretty hard time deciding on one, which is, you know, usually where we're at. I mean, we love giving out awards. And, you know, when we have our meetings to talk about these things, it's you know, it's pretty hard to ever pull one or two people out of the hat. And sometimes, you know, it's a it's a pretty good vote. But this year we were pretty, you know, right down the middle about a couple of fantastic students in what really was an amazing cohort of uh, students this past couple of years. So uh, our campus BS students is Alex Fishburn and Joshua Slagowski. They're pretty awesome. Um, you know, again, I've had a little extra experience with those students not only in class but also in research um, as well as Jesus and some and that's one of the things I really value I get to kind of know the students a little different aspect where we're kind of trying to solve problems and you know do things a little outside of formal coursework and you know it's just it's really phenomenal to see how good and quality some of these students are and it's it's kind of sad to see them going you know um, this is a, a, a fun day not only to award and to recognize, but it's also a bit of a sad day where we, you know, get to know individuals and all these fantastic young people who are going to go out and become professionals. Um, and then they, they kind of leave us. So, you know, it's a little sad for us, but we're excited for you. And uh, again, congratulations to these outstanding students. You will have uh, some of our acrylic awards uh, sent your way, right? I think we, we've mailed them out. Um, so they should be coming to you in the mail. And uh, if you feel comfortable and would like to do that, I encourage you guys to take some pictures with them so that we can post them up on Facebook. Uh, we did that last year and it was kind of fun. We definitely like to show you guys off. So please, when you get it, um, and again, you feel comfortable doing that, uh, take a little selfie or something with it, send it to me or Rachel, and we'll kind of post it up on our Facebook page and let everybody see you with your, your fancy little awards. So again, I appreciate that very much. So we usually like uh, during the ceremony to invite uh, some students up to give give a speech. We usually like to do an online and campus student, but I think in this current situation, we only were able to kind of line up one student. Um, but Jesus Rebolledo is going to be our student speaker today. Um, you know, again, I think if you were on campus, you obviously know Jesus. He pretty much seems to be doing everything all the time for us and helps in our labs and, you know, is a great student and all these things. And, you know, we're really excited to, you know, have him speak for us today. So we appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to put my mask back on and let Jesus come back up and then we'll continue. So thank you guys very much. Hi, <laughs> um, my name's Jesus. I'm pretty sure most of you know me. And for those of you who don't, you're probably online or I don't know where you've been. <laughs> I pretty much lived in the labs, um, helping out Kent, helping out all the teachers. Um, I, I really enjoyed that they asked me to come in, see if I was it, wanted to speak at this little pinning ceremony, just because, um, it was a it was a very interesting program <laughs> and by interesting I mean super hard the, this this program is not for I'm, I'm, to me it's not for everyone it's for those who are truly committed this program took everything I had to finish it and I literally had COVID and pneumonia one week after the other <laughs> so that this this was harder than anything I've ever done in my life. High school and high school, middle school, all all my previous schooling was nothing compared to this. I learned not only so much information and how to be a great lab tech, but I've also learned how to make actual friends as opposed to when we're doing our intro classes to even get into the program. You just meet someone and then once the class is over, you never see that person again. In this program you really get to know your cohort. So I uh, like the students of the year, uh, Josh and Alex, I 
I spent so many hours with both of them, whether it's seeing each other in the labs for research or calibrating all the centrifuges, pipettes and everything. We, we were really, we all knew each other really well. Um, everyone thinks Alex bullied me. He didn't. <laughs> he just bullied me at the wrong times. <laughs> um, the, this program was once again, like it was really, it was really tough, but I feel every single one of these instructors cared for us throughout this entire process. No matter how many students they heard saying that their tests were not fair or that um, labs were just awful or anything like that, because they did hear us. If you guys didn't realize that they've, they've heard us there, that hallway, it echoes a lot, <laughs> but they still put up with us and they got us through this entire degree. <laughs> um, the, once again, like this, it, it's just this, it's just weird to me because I come from a pretty poor background. Um, I come from a poor background and a not so educated background. My, the highest education among the adults in my family was about ninth grade. So getting through this program with all of you, like all, all those study groups that we had, all of those times that we had to stay here to calibrate for six hours. So we'd have pizza in the hallway. Um, all those times we were in the hall, in the hallway with all the lab coats, just talking, uh, all of the times we all stressed in the hallway, nearly in tears during before a practical started, you know, those, those things, trauma is what really bonds us. <laughs> but even if we are traumatized from this, that trauma is something that we're all going to share for the rest of our lives. We'll remember each other. I won't forget Alex ripping my paper. I won't forget um, hearing about a centrifuge catching fire on Halloween. <laughs> I won't forget any of the appointments that I set up with the teacher to help me review for a test that I failed or a question that I just had a general curiosity about. They always wanted to see us succeed. And for that, I really do thank this department. Um, the, the last thing I want to say, because I don't want to be too long, is that I'm going to quote one of my favorite movies here, Ratatouille. <laughs> Um, a, you can, okay, I'm panicking. I'm not dumb. I swear. Um, <laughs> so not everyone can be an amazing lab tech, but an amazing lab tech can come from anywhere. I bet your background, how much, how much people tell you you're great, how many people tell you you're great and that you'll always pass no matter what, like, that's not always what makes a great lab tech. You can, you can come from anywhere, from any kind of background, poor, rich, it doesn't matter. If you put the work into it and you get any help that you need because these teachers will always give you that help, you will succeed. And that's all I have to say. Congrats everyone and good luck on your future endeavors. You'll all do great. Thanks, Jesus. That was that was awesome, and very, uh, I guess, poignantly very similar to my experience as well. Like I, I think we were talking a little bit earlier. Like I still see and talk to uh, my cohort of students we went through almost 20 years ago, um, and I directly attribute it to the shared trauma of going through the program. Um, I think my wife likes to call that type two fun. Um, so during the time, it is most certainly unpleasant, um, but after the fact, we reflect on these things positively, and we really uh, maybe look back and see these as kind of transformational moments in our lives, right? Um, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, Jesus' story is common to a lot of us, uh, especially here at Weber, but um, even us in the profession, you know, medical lab science is is one of these, you know, in the basement kind of professions in a hospital, but it's it's super important, right? Everything we do uh, is is directly related to the care of a patient, and we, you know, generate we basically generate all this information that other people use to to perform that care and to do the right kind of treatment or care. Um, and you know, it's a certain kind of calling and a certain kind of person that can that work in that environment of 
you know, pretty much, you know, you were always talking about calibration and stuff like that. I mean, it's a, it's a rigorous thing, right? Everything we do needs to be as accurate as possible. And that's actually a hard thing to achieve. So um, it's a different kind of person that it, it's doesn't, it's not really just about how good academically you are or how much you, you know, quote unquote, maybe like science, you have to be built a different way to be able to kind of slam your head against that wall 15 times and keep doing those calibrators until they come in because they've got to come in because we need to report these results and, you know, we have a job to do. So it's, it's a different, uh, it's a different kind of human. Um, I know when, when I was in school, um, especially in my fall of my senior year was, uh, you know, September 2001. Um, you know, a bunch of us were going to our, our morning deli and getting some bagels before our more our like, you know, super early lab. And, you know, we saw what was going on on the TV during 9-11. Um, and, you know, I think everybody was obviously freaked out at that moment. But, you know, our professors made it a really important point uh, that we show up and we had a full day of labs and that we were going to go through those, those labs just because there was a crisis happening that, you know, we remember 20 years later, um, that doesn't change who we are as lab professionals and who, what we need to do. Right. And that's kind of, I think Jesus's point, even, um, going through this year is it's been a struggle, right? I think everybody has, had varying levels of burnout and frustration and, um, you know, trauma, even going through um, some of this kind of illness with this pandemic. Um, and yet there's still work to be done, right? We still have to, to soldier on and kind of get things done because especially for us, other people depend on us. So, you know, this year graduation might not be like what we want. Pinning might not be what we want. Um, but maybe we're all growing up a little bit and, you know, we don't get always what we want, but we still, keep moving forward, right? And we'll survive and, and keep keep working towards a goal. And I think that's really uh, important for us to remember that here. And you guys certainly aren't gonna forget your last year of college, that is for sure. Um, you'll remember that probably till, till the day you die. Um, so again, Jesus, thank you for speaking today. It was really good to see you again one more time. And um, hopefully we're getting a little, I mean, it's weird that you get used to, but then it becomes weird when people take their fat face mask off, right? How long has it been since we've been able to at least set up a situation of where we are relatively, you know, safe and mitigated, where we can actually see each other's faces again? Um, it is a strange world we live in. So again, now we'll go into our formal part of our uh, pinning ceremony, the actual pinning itself. And this year, what we're going to try to do is do the read-offs for the names, right? Um, I'm going to start, and I think Rachel's going to be okay. Are we gonna just have the speakers kind of unmute themselves as they go? Okay. So you'll have an opportunity to hear from all the faculty as we go through, um, and they'll each be reading some names uh, for our graduates this year. And this is, again, if we can maybe impute or virtually imagine uh, you guys coming up and us giving, and put, giving you this pin that is to mark this very special day. So I'll be doing uh, just the Associate of Applied Science students first. Um, so we have Reese Baun, and I also apologize if I don't pronounce your name properly, especially for some of our online students where, you know, we don't have that opportunity to, to speak with you in person that much. Um, and I certainly haven't been able to ask when you're here. So uh, I apologize in head advance. And um, Re so Reese Baun, Emily Casaval. Kalisha Climes, Michael Johnson, Lydia Kemp, Jessica Nebecker, Liana Prater, our student of the year in the AAS, and Jennifer Voorhees. Now Janice. For the Bachelor of Sciences in Medical Laboratory Sciences, we start with Andrea Bowling, Amy Call, Daniela Sepoli, Samantha Charapata, Sarah Cisneros, Kathy Cooper, Cassie Cosby, Nikki Drish. All right. And for the bachelors, um, uh, we have uh, Natalie Finlinson. Alex Fishburn, uh, Megan Flipsa, Christ uh, 
Christina Fulkerson, Hanan Gobros, Amanda Gutch, Peter Hall, Rebecca Hansi. Congratulations are in order for these bachelor's degree students. R.N. Hill, Kenzie Kippen, Caitlin Langston, Stephen Murata, Kristen Oaks, Irma Linda Ostrovica, Brianna Phelps. All right. Jesus Rebolledo, Nancy Rogers, Dina Sanders, Sabrina Sharaf, Joshua Slagowski, Nicole Smith, and Bryant Stewart. Congratulations. And to conclude our Bachelor of Science, Kendra Talavera, Stacia Taylor, Stacy Thrasher, Kristen Veen Camp, John Watson, Tierra White, and Riley Wolf. All right. Congratulations. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. And big round of applause for all those graduates. Just fantastic. Um, again, you guys are truly are amazing students. It's, it's really, again, a bittersweet kind of day to see you go, but we couldn't be more excited for you to start your new job and your new profession and your new career as a medical laboratory scientist. Um, I think especially in today's world, um, maybe people know more about these lab people who are doing all these COVID tests and things like that, right? I mean, it does bring some attention to those scientists that are in the, in the basement working hard usually uh, to try to diagnose diseases and give all this health information. So as part of this transition and this moment to mark your movement into the profession, uh, we like to have our pledge uh, that we recite together um, as a group, right? Just like we're, we're maybe graduating med school or something like that. This pledge is our professional pledge uh, from the American Society of Clinical Laboratory Sciences. And it, it really kind of helps outline some of the things that we're uh, expected to do. So I will uh, start to recite the pledge. You know, it's a little strange that we're on the Zoom. So if you want to recite it together or kind of keep pace with me as I go, that's great. Um, and you're, if you're able to, you can probably unmute yourself and kind of do it with me. Um, so I'll start uh, right now. As a medical laboratory professional, I pledge to uphold my duty to patients, the profession, and society by placing patients' welfare above my own needs and desires, ensuring that each patient receives care that is safe, effective, efficient, timely, equitable, and patient-centered, maintaining the dignity and respect for my profession, promoting the advancement of my profession, ensuring collegial relationships within the clinical laboratory and with other patient care providers, improving access to laboratory services, promoting equitable distribution of healthcare resources, complying with laws and regulations and protecting patients from others incompetent or illegal practice, changing conditions when necessary to advance the best interest of patients, right? Fantastic. And you know, it's it's funny when you read these things. Um, I've definitely the you know sixth time we read that pledge a, in a group. Um, but you know, some of those things really kind of start to hit up on on the world we live in right now, right? Like the, the role we play in society, the the need for people like us to be in the hospital doing these tests. Remember, you know, even early on, some of the you know only tests available were fairly highly skilled molecular assays that are, you know, that's, that's the world we live in. That's a clinical lab scientist. You just don't want anybody running that test. I mean, they are so finicky and so touchy that you need, you know, professionals to do that. And that's really who you guys are. Um, and you should really take pride in that. Um, again, changing conditions is something that, uh, that last little part, I think, really resonates as far as, um, you know, as humans, we, we have to adapt and things are always going to be different for us. And the world's always gonna keep changing. Um, and that includes working in a clinical lab. Um, what is demanded of you? What is needed from you? What kind of tests you're doing? What, 
what the scenario is. It's, it's always going to be a little different. And so for you to be successful, you got to, you know, change with that. That's part of being a professional, right? Stepping up when things need to be done, um, because that's just what our job is. So, you know, that's the end of kind of the formal part of our, of our program today. Uh, I really, you know, really thankful for you guys to come and watch us and, you know, participate a little bit. Again, this seems a little, a little more formal, a little more uh, official than our living room that we did in the spring or my living room. Um, so I, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, I think this year is a, uh, it's a special year, um, but you are a special group of people and I I'm, couldn't be happier sending you guys out there and, and to start working and really, you know, help us come out the other side of this. And, uh, you know, it's, it's fantastic to be able to work and, and to educate you uh, and to be in your service, really, uh, to get you guys um, maybe from varied levels of backgrounds to, to really have a profession and a career that you can be proud of. Um, and I, you know, I just want to congratulate you again and wish you the best of luck. And I know all of our faculty uh, do the same. And so again, thank you for coming today. We will be posting this, this was recorded. Uh, so we'll be posting it up on our Facebook page. If you wanna share it, you know, show it to your family. Um, and please feel free to comment, you know, collaborate, talk. We, we miss you all and uh, we're sad not to see you in person, but at least we can give you something uh, to recognize you and all your great efforts. So again, thank you very much and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, boom.